Now going over here, this will be your closet space. Just open the door. You have access to a light, which is uh, 12 volt as well. And you have access to a closet rod, which will allow you to put your clothes in there. Going down here, this is access pan uh, an access panel to your engine or the top. Nothing you'd really want to get into other than, than to check the transmission fluid. Um, normally your, your mechanic is going to be the one that needs to get into this. If you really had to get into it for any reason, you'd take this cover off. Remove these screws on this and this, and this will come off. That will allow you to get into the motor. Okay. Now going into your shower area, as long as you've got your water system hooked up as well as uh, or the pump, you're able to run your shower. This is just like the one you would have at home. Lift the knob up, that gets you hot or cold. And then you can take it up. Lift it up, take a shower that. Very good. If for some reason some of your appliances don't work that are 110, we're able to get to the breaker system, and that's underneath the bed. And the way we get to that is by lifting the bed, coming to the bottom down, and getting access to the door. And the door, put your finger there and pop open. It's labeled what each breaker is for, and there's your breakers. It's that simple. If something is tripped, it will be in the down position. A way to reset it is to push it down and pull it back up. If it keeps re re tripping or tripping and not resetting, you have a problem, and it's not going to reset. You may have a weak breaker or a problem with, with the appliance.